Hey everyone, today I'm showing you an overview of how I made this Bluetooth speaker for a friend over the weekend. Of course, I started off with making a basic 3D model as I wanted to use just one of the leftover pieces of plywood. Knowing my limitations, it was easy. Once that was done, I plotted the cuts in AutoCAD according to the size I wanted. I took it to the CNC shop, gave him the CAD file and got the pieces cut accordingly, which was a very quick process. Once that was done, it was time to clear some space and start assembling the puzzle. First, I had to smoothen the cut edges with the sandpaper because I didn't want any splinters getting in my hands. The assembly process was quite simple as firstly there weren't many pieces and secondly they were cut perfectly and marked. I made pilot holes and countersunk them before applying glue and then screwed them in place. I repeated the same process and assembled the front with the base and the back pieces. Then I got to assembling the sides which was again very simple. After that I screwed in the components just to see how well they fit. And this was the basic look we were getting. Then I started to mark the spot for the 2.1 channel amp I got. Made the holes for the knobs to poke out of.
and made a recess with the router to cater to the knob depths. I realized that I needed to raise the amp about 1 8th of an inch so I cut small plates from a piece I was using as a guide to make holes with the router. Once that was done, I screwed it in place to see the final fitment. and got to cutting wires to the required lengths. After I had the wiring figured out, I rounded off the edges with the router and gave the whole thing some sanding with a 320 grit paper. Taped up the front and took it out to paint. Started off with a coat of primer and a second coat and after the third coat had dried I got to painting it in a matte black finish. After three coats of that, I mixed some matte top coat and gave the whole thing two to three coats. Peeled off the taped front and gave that a couple of coats too. Once that had all dried up, it was back to the assembly. I'm still learning to solder properly, but I'd like to believe that I did a decent job there.
I'm using Poke Audio 6.5 inch drivers with PSP C40 tweeters. The amp is a 3116D2. I'm not using the woofer output on it yet. That's going to be a part of a later upgrade involving an auxiliary wire port on the box and probably an add-on subwoofer box for the speaker. I used a lot of zip ties to make sure the wires don't rattle inside. I took the power through a toggle switch cause why not? After all that, this is where we were. But I wasn't happy with how it was sounding and I realized that I could add a port. And after asking around, I decided on the size and it worked nicely. Then came the time to put on some nice rubber feet to avoid scratches and rattles on the floor when those bass notes hit. Also, my friend wanted to be able to carry it, so I found this sleek looking handle and it really went well with it. At the end, I went a little overboard with stuffing some of this polyester lining in there, but it really cleared up the vocals and screwing it all in This is what we've ended up with and I was delighted with the way it looked. Of course, there is always room for improvement in the finish and in some quality. But as I said, there will be upgrades.
Thanks for watching my video. This will be the first of many speaker builds. I hope you like what I've made. Do like and subscribe. Bye bye.